Hi, this is Roger from Kanker Labs with another edition of Vintage Display Technology. Now I've stumbled across a post in the Neo Nixie mailing list where it's not only about a Nixie tube but uh, anything regarding old display technology about a post that someone uh, has built a clock out of these electromechanical flip displays. They are at the moment available at eBay. I will give you the link in the description. And although these came out decades ago, they are still, at least in Germany, heavily used in uh, gasoline stations at the gasoline pump to display the amount of liters or gallons that you <coughs> put into your tank and the money you have to pay and so this is quite an interesting kind of display technology. Um, there are all in all seven coils for each of the seven segments. And to flip them in or out, uh, you have to put a little current pulse. The data sheet says, uh, let me recap it, 19 volts for one millisecond at 300 milliamps. Now to simulate this, I've just uh, connected uh, a little aluminium electrolytic here to a 19 volt power supply. And uh, let's see if this works. Yep, that was how to flip a segment out. And in parallel, um, now with reversed polarity, that's how you make it flip it in again, the segment. See? So, uh, to control these things, um, they work just like a bistable relay. Um, so you have to generate a short current pulse with positive polarity, and then you have to reverse uh, the polarity to turn the segment off again. So you need a little bit of uh, circuitry to make this working. If you Google for how to control bistable relays, uh, you will easily find out there are many ways there are even specialized uh, chips uh, to do that for you. But in the post in the Neo Nixie mailing list, um, they mentioned someone who built a clock out of it. And let's take a look at his blog about the nice uh, clock he built out of these uh, little electromechanical flip displays. So here we are at the blog page of Coit Behringer. Uh, I will give you the link to the blog also down below in the video descriptions. And that's his readily assembled clock in a custom laser cut acrylic case. He built it all up from scratch, so let's just scroll a little bit through. Here's a kind of, well, not data sheet, but uh, as you can see, they are from Ferranti, uh, from Italy, as far as I know. Um, and the hardest thing, he said, was how to multiplex these things. Because if you do it the normal way, even with a four digit clock, you would need at least two transistors per segment. And with uh, four times seven, that makes 28 segments times two transistors. So to control every single segment, you would need at least 54 uh, MOSFETs, half of them N channel, half of them P channel. And he worked out a way how to multi kind of multiplex this so that you have rows and columns. And so in the end, and that is the centerpiece of his uh, circuit, he just needed four push-pull pairs of N-channel and P-channel MOSFET for each digit. And then, of course, seven push-pull pairs for every segment, which all in all make, uh, let's count it, 14 plus 8, which makes only 22 uh, transistors, 22 MOSFETs, half of them P-channel, half of them N-channel. And uh, that looks quite nicely built and thought out. And here's all the circuitry 
built around and the control is built around an 80 mega 328 just as in the original Arduino Uno and he describes everything how he made the PCB ordered it from China from PCB way where we also get our PCBs from and nicely laid out uh, only double sided PCB and then in the the end here he also ordered the stencil just to solder this thing in his uh, toaster oven solder oven and uh, finally he somehow also described uh, how to automatically generate the files for the acrylic case where to order them so um, and he shares all his code and the schematics etc uh, for free use and if you want to have the original eagle project files uh, then just uh, send him an email and he will be happily sending them uh, to you so i'm not sure if i will uh, copy his design um, because i would like to have a six digit clock so where you can hear the clicking of the segments every every second of course this is nothing for your bedroom but i think it this gives quite a nice appeal uh, if you hear this uh, clock kind of ticking every second and uh, so let's see when i find the time to build one of my own or perhaps i will first of all uh, copy his clock or make a clock with his files and then later expand this to six digits to have a clock that ticks every single second so that was it for today thanks for watching if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and you can support me on patreon if you want to and uh, well that was it until next time bye from roger Bye from Kanka Labs.